My fellow Catholics, I wish to speak to you today regarding the third secret of Fatima. Now, we have had 50 years, over 50 years, since the third secret was supposed to have been revealed by the Pope of 1960, which was Pope John the 23rd. But because we've had this time, and we've had priests such as Father Gruner and many others, who have worked tirelessly to have the third secret revealed and the consecration of Russia. We now have the benefit of hindsight. I urge you to seriously ponder what I'm going to be saying to you. I'm not clergy. I'm just a layman. But what I'm going to say, what I'm going to be telling you, could be very shocking, but your primary reaction will probably be dismissive. And that is a very dangerous attitude to have. If this is the reaction that you have, take it a moment and pause. Because it's a very prideful, very prideful act to be dismissive of someone and what they're saying without first hearing it completely and second, verifying it. It puts you in a position of being a fool. So what I'm asking is that to hear me out Hear what I have to say. Think about it. Pray about it. And look it up yourself. If you believe in the apparition of Fatima, you have to believe that it was a message sent by our blessed Lord, Jesus Christ. And if you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that makes him God, then you must also believe that everything he asked, he already knew the outcome. So if Pope John the Twenty-Third was given a commandment from heaven, and he was. Then you have to say that John the 23rd was disobedient. Pope John the 23rd decided to disobey our Lord's request that he sent through Our Lady, our Mother, the Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Now, what does that tell us about Pope John the 23rd? And if our Lord Jesus Christ knew Pope John the 23rd would not read the secret, because he knew all along, but yet he still asked for it to be done. What was the real message? Because if the message itself was never going to be read, but he asked for it anyway, then the message must be in the fact that the Pope 
his vicar on earth, is disobedient. And the same person who called the Vatican Council together. Now, when I say disobedient, I mean that. Because not only did he not open it in 1960 like he was supposed to, or, you know, read it out loud, reveal it, the secret, he was supposed to reveal the secret to the world and do whatever it said in there. And it was not supposed to be opened until 1960. But it is well documented that he opened it in 1959. So you have a Pope, the roly-poly Pope, that regardless of his demeanor, regardless of how well he, liked, he was liked, disobeyed our Blessed Lord, disobeyed our Blessed Lady. What does that tell you about that man and whatever actions he took? Because it is also well known, at least it is now, that on his deathbed, he wanted the council stopped. So one has to ponder and really contemplate the fact that our blessed Lord Jesus Christ knew that the secret would never be read. Therefore, the message is not the secret. Because over 50 years later, still hasn't been revealed. And all the work that's been done, it is not from a lack of effort of trying to convince the hierarchy to release the third secret. A message so dire that it would send every Catholic, and even probably non-Catholics, heading to church. And the confessional lines would go on for miles. Now, what would cause... What would be so big of a secret that people would be lined up at the confessionals for miles? And why would the Vatican not release it? What is in there about them that they don't want people to know? Now, we know certain parts of it, you know, certain parts deal with the fact that the, the apostasy would start at the top. Now, let's back up. The miracle of the sun, the miracle that was promised to the three children in Fatima, Portugal, on October 13th, 1917. The great miracle was the sun danced in the sky, changed all different colors. At least two times it was coming down like it was falling on top of the people. People thought it was the end of the world. Yet, one has to ask the question, why the sun? Any number of miracles could have been performed. It could have been a geyser shooting up out of the ground. It could have been the trees all turn the color of the rainbow and then to solid gold and then back to wood again. Why the sun? Well, what if I told you 
that the reason that the sun was the center point of that miracle was to point to the greatest deception in the world. Our blessed Lord said that there would become a deception brought upon the world so great that even the elect would be deceived if possible. The sun is your clue. It has been said there are three things that cannot be hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Do you believe that you are on a spinning ball? Spinning at a thousand miles at the equator? And that the sun is 93 million miles away? When was the last time you looked up in the sky? Do you understand how the sun would act if it was 93 million miles away? What would the light look like when it hit the earth? Have you ever seen the sun rays coming through the clouds? Do you understand what that means? Do you believe that man was able to go to the moon? Or do you believe conspiracies are nothing but conspiracies? The clue is the sun. The miracle of the sun was to tell you, look at the sun. Understand how the sun operates, how it moves over the earth, and you will understand the deception that Freemasonry has put on the entire world. Where they have siphoned so much money from the average person. It's incalculable. The deception is so deep, so vast, you will not be able to handle it. But as I stated earlier, there are three things that cannot be hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. You do not have to take my word for it. All you have to do is step outside. Sea level is sea level, not sea curve. Water is always level. No matter if it's in a cup, a pool, a lake, or the ocean, it is level. Water, liquids, require a container. You cannot have a ball of water sitting in a vacuum. It is ridiculous.
This revelation, this revealing of the greatest scam perpetuated by the Freemasons, backed by the Jacobs, the fake Jacobs. The Khazars is the great deception. I firmly believe that this deception is being revealed right now. It actually started about two and a half years ago. I have followed this deception, or this unveiling, I should say. And I have come to the conclusion that the third secret reveals that this will be revealed. There is a timeline according to Father Malachi Martin. And that timeline is this year. Sometime after December 3rd, 2016, this deception is going to be revealed. And the Freemasons know this. This is why in the last three years the quote-unquote conspiracies, the pushing of the alien invasion, the pushing of every possible thing you could possibly imagine has been pushed on the internet, on people. Everything from lizard people to the earth is hollow. This is designed to have everyone so confused they will not be able to see the truth. And the truth is, goes all the way through the Vatican. It is well known that many Freemasons in the Vatican, especially since the Jesuits were taken over you can't, you can't even call them Jesuits anymore. They're, they're Freemasons. They're liars. I encourage you to look for yourself. To think logically, not emotionally. Go grab a bucket of water and try to roll it into a ball. Cannot be done. The evidence is all around you. The sun cannot be hidden. The truth cannot be hidden. The church is in disarray. The church is being beaten scourged at the pillar right now because those at the top have allowed the people to believe in what is false that they came from apes this is going to come as a shock to you but just about everything you've ever been taught is a lie you want to follow the stock market Go follow the sunspots and watch how the sunspots go up and down and the stock market goes with it. It's that simple. You think you own your house? You pay for it for 30 years and you own your house? You don't own anything. You have been bought and paid for by the banks. They own you. You're in debt. You can't even grow your own food. Ever drive around, see people with all their big yards and their fancy lawns? Not one fruit tree. Not one vegetable garden. They're completely dependent on the system.
the third secret of Fatima is being revealed right now. And all you have to do is go outside and look. I leave it in your hands.